Hi and welcome back to Carlos Cooks. Very quick video today to show you how easy it is to make your own homemade butter just from cream. Supermarket store bought cream. I've got three 300ml tubs. British extra thick fresh double cream. You need a cream with a good fat content in it and a mixer with the uh, whisk attachment. So I'm just going to pour the cream into the bowl and we're going to set it off whisking. It's going to take about 10 minutes, that's all. So let's have a look. several points you'll notice that the cream starts to thicken up as it whips and it'll start to climb the sides of the bowl so just take your spatula and give it a good sort of scoop round and take it back into the bottom of the bowl now you might find you need to do this at least two or three times just until just until the buttermilk and the butter fat starts to separate because once that liquid's in there, you're not far off and it's going to start to uh, become the butter and the buttermilk. Okay, so after about 10 minutes mixing, you'll notice that you get a complete separation of all the butter fat and the buttermilk. And you'll, you'll know when this happens because all of a sudden the whisk will start to struggle a little bit and you're left with this very dense buttery fat. So what the next step is, is to get rid of that buttermilk. So we're going to strain that off. We're going to keep it because it's buttermilk. We can use that. We can put it in scones or pancakes if we're making them. You know, it's uh, not something you should waste at all. Use it for baking something. Um, and then we're going to take this fat and we're going to rinse it in cold water to get rid of any excess buttermilk that's in it. And then we're going to put it into a uh, butter dish and put it in the fridge. Okay, so what I've done is I've used my sort of colander with a, a bowl, poured everything in. And as you can see, all the buttermilk's separated out nicely and we're just left with that butter fat there now which we're going to wash and then we're going to add a little bit of sea salt as well to it so we've got a lightly salted butter before we put it in the dish. So I'm going to pour the buttermilk off into a jug, put it in the fridge and then we're going to rinse this with cold water. Okay, Make sure you use really cold water from the cold tap and squeeze the butter through your fingers, give it a good you know, squeeze and get all the buttermilk out of it. Um, there is another way you could do it, you could put it back in the mixer and add some ice cold water to it just mix it gently, that will help get the buttermilk out. Or you can leave a little bit of the buttermilk uh, residue in. Um, you know, you get various spreads that have got buttermilk added to make them slightly softer to spread. So it's up to you how far you go. And you'll have this beautiful buttermilk here that, as I say, you can use for baking. Um, we're going to add a little bit of salt to this. Um, you can take it one step further if you want. You could blend in an oil of some sort, some olive oil, rapeseed oil, whatever you want. And make yourself your own margarine basically but um, I'm going to keep it as butter because it is lovely on toast um, so I'm just going to put that back in the mixer now and mix a little bit of sea salt in okay here's the sea salt I'm using it's a very fine salt you want a very fine salt I'm just going to put quite literally not even more than half a teaspoon into that amount of butter just to lightly salt it and then we're just going to whip it up but slowly just to incorporate that Okay, I've had a butter dish chilling in the fridge 
and I've just put it in there. That 900 grams of cream is made, well, I would imagine it's about just over 500 grams of butter. That holds about two 250 gram blocks, maybe a bit more, it might be about 600 grams. Um, and you can you can store it in whatever you like. There are nice little plastic margarine tubs at the moment that you can get in Aldi. Ideal for this um, if you want to give out some to your family or friends. Um, but uh, the proof is in the the tasting. So let's just uh, try some on this delicious black pepper cracker I've got here. Because it's still nice and soft, so it's ideal for crackers at the moment. But Put it in the fridge and, and get it chilled for your toast in the morning and it's lovely. So. Mm. Deliciously creamy. Really creamy. Much more creamy than store-bought butter. You're going to love that. Beautiful, and it goes well with that little bit of salt with those black pepper crackers, I tell you. But anyway, that's it for today. I think all in all, I spent 15 minutes on that. Um, cream, well, you know, price of cream and milk at the moment is uh, is on the up, so it's not the cheapest if you buy the store-bought at the moment. I think that cost me about £3 in British money to make that 600 grams of butter, which ain't bad, really. Can't complain, really. But um, you know, if you can get your milkman to deliver you the cream in uh, bulk and slightly cheaper, I would go for that option. But uh, definitely have a go at that. Make, make your own butter, which you can turn into anything. You can turn that into beautiful garlic and parsley butter to go on your steak or on garlic bread. Anything. And you know what's in it because you've made it. Okay, that's all for now. So give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Have a look at the rest of the ones in my collection. And I'll see you next time.